Hey, Summit, this is Edward, and you know this guy, Jake. This is your weekly update. And it's cold this morning it's cold. on a Thursday it's cold. with the sleet and the ice and the rain. Hey, I got a request. I need it to be this cold on the stage and in the auditorium Sunday so I don't have another one of them hot flashes. You going to do that again this Sunday? One of them. You going to do a tag hot team, flashes. WWE, wrestling, yeah. type preaching, that kind yeah. of deal? Yeah. yeah. Uh huh, uh huh. Can we get it this cold? Uh. It was it's hot. gonna be this cold. It was hotter than blazes on that stage Sunday. They turned the air conditioning off for me. It felt good when I was up there. So, uh, yeah. hey, we're in the studio, uh, better known as my garage, and uh, so we got a couple of things we want to mention to you. That garage. Uh, you know, preaching camp and youth camp and all those things are going to be happening this summer. And that we do fundraisers at Summit Heights to help offset the cost of those kids. And so not this Sunday, but the next Sunday, we want to tell you to plan to buy lunch at the church from our preteens. That's Super Bowl Sunday. But not not this Sunday, but the next Sunday. Super Bowl Sunday, not this Sunday, but the next Sunday. And that will help get some of our kids to go to preteen camp. Uh, we're excited about that new location this year. And are you speaking there? I the am. Camp? Yep. So Jake's a camp As long as it's cold and it won't be cold. Hot, it, won't, it won't be cold where you're at the camp this mm -hmm. year. So uh, anyway, just want to make you aware of that and get you to think that direction. We'll remind you again next week uh, on your update video of what's going on. And so make plans for that. And then I know Jake wants to talk about this. We're real excited about what happened last Sunday. I mean, outside of you yeah, and I was tag excited. team. I wasn't excited about what happened last Sunday. <laughs> um, it, we lost our small groups, and man, so many of you have connected. And we had one group that had thirty people show up. Uh, that was to their group. group. That's, That's not a small group. A small That's church. a small church. That's a small church right there, man. So, uh, hey, you want to tell about the new group we talked about Tuesday? So we got a couple things that I want to make you aware of. Uh, starting next Wednesday, this is Thursday, so starting Wednesday, we're going to be having a small group. And it's going to be catered to some of you parents that are dropping your kids off for youth and kid venture. We, we, Kristen Walker is going to start a small group. Uh, it's going to be pretty informal. They're going to do some topical type studies, video driven discussion, facilitating some discussions around that. So you can drop your kid off at youth, drop your kid off at kid venture, stay at the church. And be a part of a small group. Six, How cool is that? Six thirty to eight o'clock. How six thirty cool to eight o'clock is now, that? Hey, hey, here's some really cool too. It's uh, for some of you guys that kind of want to test the waters and serving. Uh, you can also get a background check, and he actually helps serve food uh, at the youth time. They can start I like food. serving food at six. Is that right? Yep, food is and, awesome. Uh, then the study kicks off for our students at six thirty. Hey, speaking the of adult food, will also be six thirty. Give a shout out to Red Rooster, one of our sponsors here on the Summit Heights Fellowship Update video. They've got these incredible new ribeye tacos. You gotta have some of those today. You gotta try. You're gonna have some today. Yeah, buddy. I'm going up there today for lunch. Yeah. We got our ministerial. Oh, they're closed today. today. They're closed today. Uh, on Thursday? Yep. No. I talked to him yesterday when I went in for lunch. He said they were going to be closed no. because of the ice and stuff. No. All right, here's another exciting announcement. This Sunday, first Sunday of the month, new groups gathering. A lot of you did not find a group to connect in. You, you've reached out to me. Some of you are just kind of hiding in the weeds, kind of hiding back. Like, I'm not sure about this small group stuff, but I would like to meet a few people and maybe investigate what groups is about after church in room A101. Come meet with me and a couple of our future leaders, uh, and we'll connect, and you can learn the ins and outs of groups, and actually you'll begin to feel like what it's like to be a part of a group. We've actually had small groups birthed out of these. You like that? Birthed out Bird, of yeah. Yeah. Birthed out of these new groups connections meetings on the first Sunday of yeah. every month. And since this Sunday is the first Sunday, we're having one. Yeah. And so I know a lot of you guys are still staying home. I ran into some uh, folks even yesterday, uh, and uh, they're still staying at home because of health and that kind of stuff. And so. Uh, we want to say thank you for joining us every Sunday online uh, at our services. And uh, we look forward to when you can uh, feel comfortable coming back together. And we know that many of you do have underlying health issues and you can't be there. Uh, I'm grateful for our team, uh, our tech team that puts these together, uh, that 
allows us to do what we're doing, even upgrading some stuff to make that a better experience. And so just really grateful. And so I wanted to say that because I know Sunday uh, we talked about you guys that are at home. I know some of you guys are at home because you need to be, and we get that. We understand that. I'm grateful for I the technology. I probably needed to be home Sunday. Um, yeah, you scared me Sunday. Probably uh, needed to be 33 home. years of doing ministry, I've never had a sermon passed off to me in mid uh, sermon. Uh, I'm here to break records, baby. I'll tell you this much: I was not paying attention. I'm a record breaker. I, when you told me to get up and go, I really wasn't paying attention. Yeah. And then when you asked me to take over, I had no idea yeah. where you are. That's a test. And uh, That's so that. be ready in season and out of season. Hey, baby, I was ready. I was ready. I, I just I, I ran with it, man. I ran with it. You did good. You feeling better? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we hope that you are safe today uh, with with all this weather we got. Uh, uh, hitting these Texas right now, and uh, it's going to be cold over these next few days, so stay warm, uh, check on each other, uh, just do what you normally do as a church in, in our community, and we're grateful for that. You know, this time last year was Snowmageddon, uh, so it's interesting. It was in February, a little bit uh, later, but yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting that here we are again, and so uh, just only about on a day other. and a half. Should be good by lunch tomorrow. Yeah, but it's going to be cold for the next seven days. Uh, tomorrow. It'll, it'll be, be cold good. for the next seven days. And we are working on the pipes. Making sure the pipes don't freeze so you'll have coffee Sunday. Just wanted to make that clear. I like clear. coffee. I like coffee. Got anything else, brother? Nope. Hey, we love you, Summit. Can't wait to see you Sunday. Stay warm. Invite somebody to come to church with you. If you're online, do a watch party. Bring people watch together party. Uh, on that. We love you. Share this on all your platforms. Uh, get the word out. Don't forget, baked potato sale away from Sunday. New small group starting uh, next Wednesday. Groups connections. Groups connections this Sunday. Lots happening. Tag team we, preaching. We love you. Have a great weekend. We'll see you Sunday.